Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are On The Off Ramp. For the next few days, Wade and I will be hanging around Grand Beach Provincial Park. And one of the things that we are realizing is it's an iconic place to visit, but we have not featured it yet in our Manitoba places to see. So I hope you can learn a lot from our video and make this one of your destinations. Grand Beach is, of course, on Lake Winnipeg and uh, the powdery white sand beaches and grass top dunes. It's actually one of the top beaches in North America and dunes can reach as high as 30 feet in some areas up around the lagoons. Great place to swim, windsurf, and there are some great hiking trails as well too. I think people like to bring their bikes as well. Yeah, we have our bikes along as well and uh, I get to do some biking around the park, so it's a great place to hang out. This is our site. And this week we are choosing to have electrical. Well, we left a bunch of gear sitting at our at our campsite so that we could unload it all and then come here and get some water. Our tank is empty. You want me to hang on to the other end? I got it. No signs here saying it isn't, is or isn't potable, so some of the provincial campgrounds have some signs saying that you have to boil the water. Yeah, for those of you that know how reliable these sensors are, um, it said if I click on fresh, it was on completely empty and now it's filling up. But, you know, big conversations happen on this one. The black tank says it's completely full. It's not, it's been emptied and cleaned. And the gray water uh, says it's at a third full. And it's not, it's been emptied. <laughs> so we don't rely on those sensors too much. This is kind of a major complex in the middle of the Gap Grand Beach campground area. And it provides a store, laundromat, washrooms, showers. It's quite big and roomy. And the showers, I think we're gonna need a toonie for. So not thinking, they're not free showers, but they look pretty good. As long as I have water, I think I'm gonna like using our own actually. I don't know if you can see that. In there is a little campground, or sorry, and there is a little playground ready for kids, I guess, as they wait for everyone to have their family shower. This campground features a number of sites that are designated as, as accessible sites. And from those sites, they have these little ramps into the parking lot and access to the washrooms. So I think this particular campsite is empty, so we're deciding to walk through it and take a look. Thank you. 
As a young boy, we always looked forward to traveling to Grand Beach with the family. And my brother and my cousin and myself were always biking around the campground in the park, exploring whatever we could find. And, and I think one of the most things that we really enjoyed was just spending time at the beach. And we really looked forward to using our air mattresses and little rubber dinghies whenever the wind was blowing and just exp and bouncing around in the waves and, and just having fun in the water. So this place has a lot of good memories as a child and even now with bringing our kids here when they were younger and now coming just the two of us it's just fun coming back and exploring and biking and walking around the park i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and i'm still so amazed by you so hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just as cute. looks pretty yummy today it's cooking over the fire day Camp girls are so dirty, <laughs> so we, should, we weren't sure we wanted to do it without the aluminum foil, but it, it could pose to be a problem. Mm. Grilled vegetables, steak over the fire, and I got some garlic bun, a garlic roll ready, garlic and cheese. to stay every single day yeah so hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just us two me and you mm -hmm. I got the keys <laughs> I actually just need to get a um, sweatshirt out. And then we are going to go for a walk down to the beach. Good walk. <laughs> Here we go. Off in the winter. We're hoping after all these cloudy and rainy days. I'll listen to those birds compete with me. We're hoping after all these cloudy and rainy days we're going to actually see a sunset at the beach. So off we go. And if you hear the birds, tell us what the name of the bird is. <laughs> we know it, but do you? Okay, let's go for All right, a walk. Alright, let's go. We've arrived at Grand Beach at the beach and there's a few families over here camping. Sorry, a few families over here enjoying the water. And Wade's going to get his... Who are those rocks? He wants those rocks in his pictures, some of those weeds. So we'll head that direction. This is my view. But here we are sitting at Grand Beach and... This is our view. This is our view. Yeah. And way over there you can see some families enjoying this evening swim. And uh, after two wet days. Yeah, two full rainy days. It's 
This, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's cleared up nicely this evening, so the families are out, which is good to see. Yeah. We're technically in the area called the Dog Beach because you can see where the swim rings end over there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but isn't this great? Brought our chairs. I'll show you this. I don't know if you can tell what I've got here on the side of my chair. Here, hold it up. But it's my own little personal thermocell because, you know me, and mosquitoes. So it's smoking away in Wade's direction. It's probably helping him more than me. <laughs> well, there's no mosquitoes here. <laughs> because we have a going. Ah, look at that. That was great. Well, while I sit here on my chair, Wade's busy trying to capture the moment here at Grand Beach. The sun is going down, it's getting a little cooler, but wow, so peaceful. Good thing we brought our headlights along just in case the walk back to our cap spot's gonna get a little dark. Yeah, this is our evening. Thanks for joining us. And after spending an evening at the beach, it's time to say goodnight. So now we'll head home and see what tomorrow brings. Well, some time ago, we'd mentioned that we received this All Powers little portable battery pack, uh, solar generator. We haven't really had much need for it. Uh, however, I was using my drone last night and I need to recharge my drone, so I'm going to use this to recharge my drone and on this one I can use just the two USB ports, two of the USB ports on the side is what I'll use to recharge my drone. But it's a handy little battery pack, I'll go a little wide angle here. Um, it has, first of all, it has wireless phone charging up on top. Uh, nice little handle and very lightweight, it's only maybe... I don't know, five pounds or something, I don't mind sure. Two little flashlights on the back. You can go full uh, 110 if you need, or you can just stick to uh, uh, 12 volt power. So we'll give it a try and we'll see. It's been sitting idle for about uh, two months and it still has 56% battery charge in it. So I'm not sure what to expect. Maybe you can tell us more, but I'm thinking that there should be almost full battery charge in there. But uh, nonetheless, there's still battery charge and it's been sitting idle for about two months. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so I don't have much much of a drone. It's just a little DJI Mini SE. But it's fun, fun to play with and gives us some drone shots. But um, they both need charging. The kit came with two cables. One is a USB-C. And that plugs into the drone. Oh, well, that's the other USB. So this is the USB, I forget what they call that, a mini or whatever that is. It's not quite a USB-C. I'm going to plug into the controller, but this one here will plug into the drone. And to power this one up. And to power this one up, and we'll just plug this into here. Okay, and we'll turn it on and let it charge. So it's using 13 watts of output between the two between the two units. My controller still had a fairly good charge, but I. I ran my battery dead on this thing last night 
and I was in the air and also I got a warning and I tried to, I was over top of the lake I had to rush to bring my drone back in and I landed it just in time so there we go we'll see how that works yesterday was a steak barbecue today we we're gonna do some burgers again over the open fire just makes it a much nice and easy way to to cook without hauling stuff out of the van too plus we got a fire to boot we're heading to the west beach of grand beach and i know that people say there's fishing i guess the place that i'm guessing where most people fish if you don't have a boat is right here at this little bridge and this little area between the on two the beaches causeway. on the causeway Wade calls it so yeah this is where people sit on some of these rocks and I have no idea if they're catching fish but or what kinds or what they're catching true enough so turning into the Grand Beach it's a town that's only like the cottages are only open uh, during the summer during the winter this whole place closes down is that right Wade nobody can uh, well, there's no water there's services no, or anything like that. Oh yeah, no water services for the winter. So for the cottages, yeah. For the cottages. So people, I guess, might even come here. But. Typically, people head to the West Beach if they're not camping, and East Beach if they're camping, but both are accessible to the public. That's providing you have a provincial pass. If you go to lot five, parking lot, that will give you access to a dog beach. And the dog beach is here. Both East and West Campground are quite nice. When we were here with our families, this parking lot would be packed. It's about 23 degrees Celsius, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be that cold. It's only 21 right now. That oh, feels warm. And it's Friday, Friday at noon, so... Yeah, maybe more will come for the weekend camping and stuff. That little kiosk there has change rooms. And, um, what else? A store. Just wait. Ooh, wait for our home to show on the horizon soon. Hey, thanks for joining us with our visit to Grand Beach Provincial Park. We really loved coming here. And even though the weather didn't actually uh, make it very suitable in the beginning, one thing we noticed is that there's so much to do. So to bring your families, regardless of the weather, it is uh, just a beautiful place to explore uh, as a family. If you've liked this video, please take the time to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, we appreciate any help that you give us in helping promote our channel. And if you're a visitor to Manitoba, we encourage you to check out a bunch of our videos that feature Manitoba Provincial Campgrounds. So we have some plans for uh, a couple of weekends coming up now, but uh, we're not 100% sure how they're all going to work out. And uh, we just kind of know we have to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.